As a mom of three little girls and a former childcare provider to up to 10 kids under the age of five, I think I know a thing or two about kid products and baby products and a lot of you guys have asked me to share what my favorite like newborn and early months products are for a baby and so that is what I'm going to be doing today now that my little one is six weeks old I'm going to be sharing what my favorite newborn and you know the first few months products are for a new baby. Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Life Glue where I love to help other moms create balance that sticks. And I think a great way to create balance is to have products that really work for you to make your life a little bit easier. And so today I'm gonna to be sharing my favorite products as a mom of three and former childcare provider that I love to use with really young babies. Now, I've tried a lot of different products over the years and these are the things that I absolutely love. I'm not sharing anything unless I absolutely love it. So there's lots of products we use but I'm only sharing the ones that I really love that I would use again and again and again. So let's start with sleeping. That is probably the number one most important thing most parents want to figure out right away is sleeping with their baby. You wanna get your baby to sleep. Now, will you get the baby to sleep through the night? Probably not, especially if you're nursing, which I have exclusively breastfed all of three of my babies now. No formula, um, I've been very lucky to do that, but they wake up a lot in the night and one huge thing that has really worked for us are swaddles. Now I know not everybody swaddles, not every baby loves to swaddle, but all three of ours have loved being swaddled. So as a mom of three, and also especially as a former child provider, I've been trained over and over on safe sleep for babies. So it's incredibly important that babies sleep on their back. Um, there's nothing you can say that will change my mind and I do not agree with co-sleeping just seen way too many horror stories as a childcare provider of things going wrong. But with really young babies, it is perfectly safe to swaddle as long as you are doing so with a safe swaddle. I love the Halo sleep sacks. They have lots of Velcro. They are very safe the way they're made. Um, here we have a few. So here's one for example. Um, you just put the baby in and it's got armholes. You zip it up. Um, the newer ones have a zipper on both sides, so when you're changing them in the night, you can just unzip from the bottom and do the diaper changes that way, which is really, really great. And then it's got these wings that you wrap one side, you know, you put the baby's arm down, you wrap it around really, really tight, um, just on their arms, not on their hips at all, making sure they can still breathe and making sure it's down away from, you know, their face. And then you take this side and you do the same thing. Our babies have all loved this. All three of my babies needed to be swaddled. They would not sleep with their arms out. They had a really strong moral reflex where they feel like they're falling. And so the swaddles have been so helpful. And I also think they're really helpful in just sleep training in general or having something to put on your baby. So maybe your baby doesn't like to be swaddled. Well then just get a sleeper sack where it's got the arms but it's just like a sack that they sleep in. And this can be great for signaling to the baby. Okay, I'm in my sleep apparatus whatever it is and now it's time to sleep all those cues really train your child that it's time to sleep so i love these whether you use an actual swaddle these have worked so well for us i even take them to the hospital so i can get sleep in the hospital because the blankets never work for my babies they're always way too strong to get out of them they get up over their face they freak me out so i just love the sleep sacks another thing we bought for this child which has worked out so well and i highly recommend to any parent especially if you know you want to have more than one child, is a bassinet with a cover. This has been really great. We keep this on our main floor because we have our other two little girls who you know, wanna put their hands in with the baby or the cat who wants to jump in with the baby. So this is a great place to lay our baby down in a safe spot that is around us, but that nobody else can get into. And it just simply has a zipper closure. It's got a lot of ways for air to move through it. And it can also fold up and has a little bag so you can take it with you to grandparents' house or daycare or whatever, um, depending on what your situation is. But it's just a really, really cool thing to have. Or that could just be simply your bassinet you have alongside your bed and then you can move it you know, to the main living area during the day or whatever. It's just been a really great 
flexible piece for us um, having other children to have a place to lay the baby down around us but keeping her safe in the process. This tip is key. Any, pretty much any child provider will tell you how important white noise is. Most of us use a loud fan in the rooms when the kids are napping and this is great for many reasons. Airflow and circulation and also the sound drowns out any other sounds so that you know you don't have to be super silent and we want babies to get used to you know sleeping through noise but this just helps block out any extra noise and it's also another cue that it's time to sleep. Okay I hear the loud fan it's time to sleep my body learns that that's a signal and then they fall right to sleep and it's also great in your own room for all those same reasons it helps you fall asleep at night too when it comes to nursing i have quite a few recommendations this is going i'm going on what i nursed my first one for two years my second one for 18 months and so i feel like i'm pretty experienced of course everybody has their own preferences but you know if you're watching this and you're a new mom or a mom to be this might be really helpful or someone who didn't have success nursing in the past these are products that i absolutely love most of which i've used through all three but a few that are new that I wish I had through all three so the very first one I'm going to talk about is the Haka this thing is amazing I heard about it when I was pregnant with this last baby and this has been so phenomenal basically what you do you peel back it's just one silicone piece you peel it back you squeeze it on you put it on over your nipple and then you you know put it back normal and then open it up and it suctions to your breast and you do that on whatever side you're not nursing on. And I've always been on one side per nursing session, nursing mom. So I don't nurse on both sides each time. So basically I will, let's say I'm nursing on the right side. I'll have this on on the left side before I even latch the baby on. And then the baby will latch on. She'll start sucking. My letdown will happen. And all of a sudden milk starts spraying in here. And I get about two to three ounces per nursing session. I'm sure that will go up as my baby you know drinks more per session so I you know I'll have more to I'll have more milk there ready and so this is great because normally I leak a ton on the other side when I'm nursing and so this catches it all and it just helps encourage the breast to kind of drain all the extra milk out and it doesn't affect the feeding the next session I still have plenty of milk and it's not causing engorgement or anything like that for me and I think for most moms who use it but it's been great because I just use the milk that I collect in here for freezing. And so I don't have to pump any other time except when my husband gives a bottle just to replace for the next bottle. But for as far as saving and storing milk, I just use whatever I use in the Hakka. So this has been great. I don't have to add any other pumping sessions in. I use this and I can get a couple bags a day, which is really, really cool. So I highly recommend this. It's also, it was phenomenal when my milk came in because I would use it and it would just let that little bit of extra milk off so I wasn't so engorged without encouraging more milk production. So I just highly recommend this thing and it's so cheap, so easy to clean, so easy to replace. I can't say enough good things about it, no wonder it's so popular. Another favorite for all three girls is this nursing light and I have not changed the battery once in the five and a half years that I've had it. Basically I just use this at night. I keep it right by the bed and when I go to nurse my baby I clip this on, on my nursing bra usually and I turn it on. It's probably hard to see right now because um I don't know if you guys can see it's very it's a very faint light but it's enough for you to get the baby latched on and see the baby without like a bright light waking everybody up so I love that it also has a vibration feature so it will vibrate after I think 15 minutes so if you kind of start to fall asleep it'll wake you up which is really really good um, because we all know we've all been there nursing a baby in the middle of the night I am kind of a burp cloth snob I didn't realize I was until my second baby came along and I went to order a couple more sets of burp cloths and they were super thin and narrow and flimsy and didn't really absorb anything and I had these amazing ones that somebody had gifted us that I couldn't find anywhere so I went on a hunt this time so I wouldn't be stuck with really crappy burp cloths and I found these and they have been phenomenal I will link all the stuff below they're by baby bubbycare.com and they're very thick and absorbent and they clean really well and I love these because I do have a very overactive letdown so I will just lay this on top of my bobby have the baby's head here and then when the milk starts to spray out I literally will just spray into this and it absorbs it all it's also great for you know 
um, burping your baby, it can actually absorb stuff where I've had burp cloths that the baby would spit up and then it would go through the burp cloth onto my clothes or it wasn't big enough for the whole area that the baby could spit up because their heads are moving all over the place. So you need like a good surface area. So I highly recommend these. I love them and they were packaged super well. I just can't say enough good things. I know not every nursing mom, especially experienced nursing moms, use a boppy or some kind of nursing pillow, but I, I don't know what I would do without it. It just takes so much pain off of my back. We use them all the time, not even just for nursing. My husband will, you know, um, feed the baby with this or we'll just use it to hold the baby. It's more comfortable or if she's asleep, we'll just kind of lay her here and then we can talk with our other kids or read and our hands are free. Um, and it's just been wonderful. You can lay it on the ground and prop the baby up. Um, definitely don't let your baby sleep on it like by itself with you not there or hold it, like kind of holding a baby. But I love boppies. We have a few of them throughout the house so I can nurse anywhere. I even with our second board had one in the car so I could just quick pull that out and nurse her. But um, it's just they're wonderful. There's a reason why they're all over the place. Also, um, a simple nursing cover. I tried a fancier one this time around and I might like it eventually, but it was more of like a wraparound type of shirt, but I couldn't see the baby. It had no plastic piece like these do to look down and see your baby. So I would be, when she's a newborn, you know, she doesn't know how to latch well and I need to like have her head and I'm holding her and I can't see her. So it was really annoying my husband had to come hold it when I was out at a park because I couldn't see her. So I'm like milk spraying everywhere. She's screaming. I'm like almost crying because I don't know how to feed my baby without flashing everyone. So I just recommend a very simple nursing cover. You can get just about anywhere. It's got the thing you put over your head and then it's got this firm plastic piece so you can look down and see your baby. You really can't go wrong with these. They're probably the best. That's why everybody makes them that way. And then this year I decided to invest in my first ever nursing clothing. I never had besides nursing bras and like tank tops that I would wear under clothes. I never had any like nice clothes that I would wear on their own for nursing but I got a set of these tank tops from Amazon I will link them below I love them I love how soft they are and they have these rough like ruffles so it really helps hide the postpartum belly which I love they're very long and flowy and they come there's tons and tons of different colors if you search but I love floral prints if you can't tell and I love this because you have it on and then the second ruffle just lifts up and then you have access to your nursing your baby. And I always wear a tank top under, so even if it flew up, nobody's seeing my bra, nobody's seeing my boobs, but um, it's just a really easy way and discreet to lift it up, feed the baby, and you're good to go. You don't have to lift your whole shirt up or stretch it down, um, and it's they last a lot longer because of that, and they're just so soft and comfortable and flattering. When it comes to play, I know a newborn baby doesn't have to do a lot to play. They don't really do a whole lot except look around. But I had been seeing these ads on Instagram for this brand Love Every, which reminded me a lot of like KiwiCo or different subscription services, but it was specifically like beautiful wooden toys and really well-made Montessori style of toys. And it's a subscription box for infants from zero to 36 months. And I really wanted to try it. And so when they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try it out and then film a video on it, I said, of course, because it's something I want to try out anyway. So they sent me their activity play gym, which I thought was so cool before they even emailed me. I didn't know if I needed another one, but I absolutely love this one. So it's replacing the old one we had from our first daughter. And then they also sent me one of their subscription kits for zero to 12 weeks. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. My baby and my two daughters really love the activity gym. I love that it's got a wooden stand and it's taller than most play gyms so they can actually you know it can last longer the baby can sit under it and still play whereas normally if they sit under it once they're like six to eight months and they're sitting they'll kind of bonk their head so it's not really even useful at that point it's very beautiful i love how it's kind of neutral but if you fold open the flaps that have different activities for different ages and different developmental milestones it's super colorful and vibrant and beautiful. My two older girls right now love exploring the different things and showing the baby the colors and things like that. And I know my baby will love it as she gets older. 
But for, for the zero to 12 weeks, they include these black and white shaped cards and a little flap that opens up, which is really cool. So I opened that up and I put the black and white cards and then I put the baby, you know, about six to 12 inches away from it. And she just loves staring at them and seeing the different colors. So I just think it was super, super well thought out and just a really cool design with the flaps that can open up, super fun, surprising. And then to even add more, they send a canopy that can go over part of it so as the baby gets older it can become kind of like a little tent or teepee which i thought was so cute and so it can really last over time whereas a lot of them by six months it's not useful anymore so it's definitely worth the money and then for the subscription box i wasn't sure what it would have in it that would be for a zero to 12 week old baby because they can't do a whole lot boy was i surprised um they have this really beautiful mobile which can go above like the changing area. On this side, it's like a black and white scene. So obviously as it's moving and it's kind of like an optical illusion, it's definitely something for the baby to look at. And then when they get older, you can flip it around and it's got the rainbow of colors, which is just really, really cool. I think she'll really love that. There's a super cute wooden book with the different animals that are black and white. And our bigger girls like to look at this with the baby. I love that she could like suck on this and as she gets older and it's not gonna get wrecked at all, it's wooden. Um, and it's, you know, also sensory. It's very smooth and it can make sound, which is cool. They sent a rattle with a ball that can come out. And it's black and white as well, really um, playing on that, you know, babies can see those colors the best. These little mitts so that she's not scratching her face, but also something to look at for her. They sent a whole set of the black and white cards, which you can use in a couple things that they sent. You can use it in the play gym that I already talked about, but those came with their own. But they also sent, if you didn't have the play gym, this really beautiful card stand so there's a place to hold all the cards and it's this beautiful rainbow and it can stand up you can put the cards in here and lay it next to your baby so maybe you just have your baby on a blanket you could set this next to them um, and so they can look at it if they have a bouncy seat with something over it you could kind of like set it there so it's not falling on their face and just give them something to look at just a really really cool thing where you could just bring it along with you and open it up for them like at the doctor's office or whatever and then they also sent this really awesome one which is also super cute and well made and it's got four slots in it and a place to hook it onto your car seat so not the car seat the baby sits in but since they're rear facing you would stick it around the headrest of the car that they are looking at and so you'd have the cards in there and then it has different pictures that they, you know, are interesting to them. So on car rides, they have something to look at other than just a seat. And it's, you know, it's helping their eyesight and it's helping them, you know, get to know their surroundings and shapes and things like that. So I really, really love that. It also comes with a whole guide of different things you can do with your baby. So what and when, like what things you should use when from what they sent. It tells you about like the first four weeks, five to 12 weeks, different things about your baby and things they like to do. It tells you about the different play things and how you can use them, which is cool. So here's a picture of the baby looking at the things in the car. It just gives you so many ideas of things you can do with a baby that you don't really realize you can do with a, uh, like a one or two month old baby. I just think this was so well made. I definitely want to get more in the future. I think they have, if you look at their website, they have some incredible, beautiful wooden toys and stuff as the kids get older that are open-ended and just really fit with the age ranges. When it comes to diapering, I don't have a whole lot of recommendations other than you know the normal changing bag cover and wipes and stuff like that. But this year, I discovered the Boogie Bottoms No Rub Diaper Rash Spray. So this is a spray that you can spray onto your baby's butt and it's diaper rash cream. I love this, especially for nighttime changes when my baby kind of like I'll change her and she pooped and it looks a little red. I don't have to, you know, get the diaper rash cream out and rub it on her butt in the middle of the night. I can just spray it on and it's no rub. So you just spray it on, put their diaper back on, you're good to go. And it's just also great because I don't know about you, I love my baby, but I don't love touching her butt, especially after she just pooped. So definitely recommend that. For traveling, I have two recommendations. One is this Carrier by Infantino. I bought it this year. I have never been a huge baby wearing person. I don't know. It's just hard for me to get stuff done. And when I just had two, it was pretty easy to just put the baby down and get stuff done or 
put them both in a stroller but now with three it's a little harder so I just really love how easy this is to put on I've tried a lot of other carriers and wraps in the past and I just didn't find that I love them but this one was super affordable it's really really easy for me to get on I love that I didn't spend a lot of money on it so I didn't have to waste money in case I didn't like it, but I actually really do. And I wear this multiple times a day. I wear it out, I wear it around the house. I find that it's really sturdy, easy to put on, and my baby likes it, she's comfortable. It seems to be very like ergonomically correct with you know, how a baby's supposed to sit when they are that little. And I just, I can't say anything bad about it, especially for the price. I think it's really, really well made and there's no wonder why it has so many great reviews on Amazon. And then my other favorite for travel is our double stroller. I got that when our second baby was born and it's actually a two, it's actually a seat with a sit and stand in the back so you can sit two kids but one is supposed to be sitting or standing and one is in a traditional seat and the front seat can also have um, a car seat go into it. It's got a little attachment. But you can also buy a second seat to go in the back. So that's what we have done. We use it that way most of the time. When our three-year-old gets a little bit better about, you know, not getting out of the stroller all the time and stuff like that, we'll take that seat off in the back and convert it back into the sit and stand. But I just love how compact it really is for a double stroller. It fits really well in the back of our van. It's super easy to set up. I've been using it all the time for the past three years and still in really good shape. It's very easy to maneuver with the two in it. It's been with us through a lot, especially with daycare. I used it all the time and so it's it's lasted really well over the years. Another really cool thing I got this time around are these socks on. This is the packaging it came in, and this is what they look like. They are super simple, but basically your baby's foot, like leg goes in here, their little heel goes here, and their toes stick out here. And it, you put it over their sock, and it keeps their socks on. It's amazing. We don't use them a ton right now. I've used them a few times, but she's not pulling off her socks yet or anything. But I think, you know, once she gets a little bigger, we'll be using these a lot because they... You lose baby socks everywhere, I swear. And so these will come in really handy. And then my last favorite thing, I don't think I could finish off a video about a baby without talking about coffee and my favorite Contigo. <laughs> um, I love coffee so much. I get up at 4 a.m. I talk about that a lot because I am weird apparently. But I love getting up early, but I can't do it without my coffee. So I keep my coffee in this Contigo. It's amazing. It stays warm almost all day. I love it and it helps me with those really long nights with the newborn where they're waking up five times and it's not fun. Those are all the products I love as a new mom. I want to say thank you to Love Every for sending me the activity gym and the play kit. I can't wait to try more. I think they're so cool. I really can't wait to get my hands on more as she gets older. And just thank you to all the creators of all these products because they've really helped me as a mom. Let me know what is one of your favorite products as a mom to a little baby or when your baby was really little what was one of your favorite things and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye guys